you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Lena, thank you so much for your Patreon membership request. You are bringing Dai Totenhosen down the rabbit hole. And the song is Wunter dir was. This is the official music video. Thank you so much, Lena, for bringing this band back. We loved them the first time we heard them. Thank you so much, Lena, for sending us this song and this music video, but you also sent us the lyrics, which is awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. As a reaction channel, it is really difficult to listen to a song of a language that you don't speak and have a correct reaction when you don't know the lyrics. So it's great that we get to read them and kind of have the poetry there. Yeah. And then see how the band portrays it, because that's always really exciting for us. This is Dire Totenhosen. They've been down the channel before. If you haven't heard, seen our first reactions to them, definitely go check that out. And without further ado, we're getting into Wünschen dir was. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. And if you guys are as excited to be here, remember to like the video and comment or subscribe to enter more of the chronic <laughs> 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 Lena, thank you so much. We really appreciate that you're sticking to your German roots and sending out all the music mm. that you love from them. And we love to give them shine as well. The German language is one of our favorite languages to actually hear songs in too. So thank you so much for this, Lena and Chronikins. I hope you enjoy this one too. Here we go. What are they going to do with those lyrics? Es kommt die Zeit! Oh! In der das Wünschen wieder hilft! Es kommt die Zeit! Oh! In der das Wünschen wieder hilft! Oh! 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 In der das Wünschen wieder hilft! Liberty and Jesus. Okay, that was really cool because that's what I was thinking. I'm like, how are they going to start with these lyrics that we read? It's like is it going to be more chill and like just like a peace one like a, a john lennon imagine type of yeah. feel or is it going to go on a roller coaster and we're going to have fun it went on a roller coaster <laughs> we're having fun this is exciting i like what they did at the beginning because it's very coexist yeah exactly. uh, feel because yeah. they had jesus they had the broken heart they had um the man with all the tribal tattoos yep. so it was kind of bringing in a lot of different Cultures spiritual and religions and cultures that. and religions yeah. very coexist i also really like i th thought it was kind of funny how the guy playing jesus had his eyes bit blacked out yeah what do you think that meant um i, I don't know maybe see no evil see no evil <laughs> but like i i don't know it for me it was kind of like you know when you're having a person come on and you don't they don't want people to know who they are get and censored was, a bit get censored a little bit that's right. kind of it was really funny for me that way right right but yeah, this is a ton of fun. We're going on a roller coaster, y'all. Here we go. Make a wish. <laughs> Das 
Revolution be the hate. Okay, so something that's just flowing through my mind is this seems like an anthem for the outcasts of the world. It does seem like it is like an anthem for the outcasts of the world. You know, like you saw the homeless people, you saw the people that are very short or uh, short people, I guess uh, they're called little now. Little people. Little people. Yeah. Um, so like a lot of those outcasts that don't feel like they fit in those like perfect systems mm -hmm. need to have something to keep them going and was really cool with that as well is like they also had like the circus folk they had yeah, everyone exactly. but they also would show the contrast to it yeah because they showed the um the little people there who were dancing but then they showed like the video of the pe of people who would be dancing in like society right. societal norms yeah they showed the police lights and then they showed the homeless person. that's very true yes they yes. showed the um, so it was that contrast, and no the kidding. lyrics go, one day we will all forgive, one day we will all exist, and yep. it will be good, and I believe that there's going to be humanity and yeah, virtue absolutely. and all of these things. So I love how they're showing those con like the contradictions of the things we're ignoring and we're putting down and we're trying to push aside, like even in history. Yeah, you're right. Going into the future, one day, one day we will all go correctly and we'll all exist together. That's true. They're showing both sides and they're wanting them to come together. Together, eh? absolutely and the thing i just wanted to point out that i thought was really cute that you brought up like with with the couple they're the two little people right is they looked so much happier when they were dancing and like yeah. having fun and everything in that video totally. but then the societal norm aspect of it they were so like set and just like we're dancing because this is what we do yeah so it was like there was so much more fun and like the homeless guy was smiling and pointing up and like having fun and being happy so much in the more individuality with that because Absolutely. they don't have those things on media to show them how to act as what they yeah. are or us this is how you're supposed to dance if you're, you're doing ballroom do dancing or something where like you don't know how a homeless person's supposed to dance so you have that freedom to just let loose exactly right just have fun with it yeah absolutely <laughs> the beauty like thank you lena for giving us those lyrics because like alana was saying without that it's really hard to like fully get the full story and it really mm -hmm. adds a lot knowing what you're going into because the main lyric that stood out for us upon reading yeah. was the holy spirit and, Sa and santa coming santa together Claus. and i think these people know where the origin of santa comes because they're showing the devil there and, and explaining that the holy ghost and 
Santa are separate, right? Yeah. And, and then they were different, but they were show so they were showing the sides of that. And like Satan is, I always say he's like the first humanitarian. He's the one who advocates for humans, mm -hmm. no matter what you are and what you're about. Um, where God is more focused on like you got to act a certain way. And that's why we're all dancing the same way. And there's mm -hmm. nothing really exciting about us. But following that side with the Santa and making a wish and like how you always are mm -hmm. asking Santa for like, I want this for Christmas. So you're always making that wish for something better. And, and like they want peace and all that. So it's really cool to see those two sides and how well they they blended it in and not hiding from it, but showing the beauty because like for me, where it showed freaks on like the, the yeah the that thing one, there. that yeah i remember the movie from like the 1920s or 40s that was called freaks and it was a lot of people from the circus a lot of short people a lot of people that had no legs and were just like yeah limbless and like but that they're you're not freaks y'all you're humans we're all Absolutely. the same species so like and like in history the circus folk and they were called circus folk. yeah they were the ones that didn't fit the societal norms the rejects in they the were way. the rejects in the way yeah. and like that's why you had like the bearded lady or you had yeah. that that cl the clown man who was actually a woman yeah right? and caught so me off guard, right? it caught me off guard and then you had the guy like who could like put the stuff like the body horror yeah. guy and yeah. that's all Ugh, i can't do that like, and even for me with the girl with the snake and the snake even went down and then and she swatted like, it away and right it's like ooh. Like, there's aspects about that that are unsettling. And so I like how they use the circus as mm. this place where everyone's going to to meet. Because at the circus, in history, was that place where you would go. They joined together. They would all join together. Yeah. And so this was giving, like, I like, again, with the visuals of the song and with the lyrics. Mm -hmm. So it was showing that juxtaposition of when we will all exist, when we will all get along, when yeah. we will all forgive was a specific lyric. And then I believe That's in inevitability. Yeah, like, forgive first. Yeah, we gotta forgive first. And yeah. there was like, I believe in inevitability, and that eventually we will all get there as humanity. Mm -hmm. And then that lyric where, and one day we will have the Holy Ghost and Santa. Cla I believe in a world where the Holy Ghost and Santa Claus can exist. Yeah. And we got into a huge conversation before we even started this video. Unfortunately, it wasn't recorded. <laughs> but um, about how like Santa, as you brought up, is an anagram for Satan. Satan. Yes. And then even um during Shakespeare, when he would portray Satan on stage, he would portray him as the blue devil and he would introduce himself to say, ho, ho, ho. Absolutely. And the original Santa Claus was dressed in blue, not in red. So yeah. that was, it's just really interesting to see how that has changed over history. Totally. And gets then, repackaged in but then ways. gets repackaged in different ways. Yeah. But then it was still the perfect juxtaposition for the song of saying, why can't we all just get along? Why can't we all just get together? Yeah. Why can't we believe in the Holy Ghost and Santa Claus at the same time? absolutely and, right and yeah, that's yeah, yeah. exact and so it's so beautiful the way this was actually put together and packaged so fun and not in a you know um imagine like that john imagine john, yeah, john, john lennon's imagine, imagine style um, it still looks good song. It's still a good song. I'm sorry, but like we wanted roller coaster. We wanted piece. roller coaster. I have to say, the children at the beginning were really unsettling for me. Yeah, but that, that was the was... whole point because we are a traditional family, y'all. So yeah. that is that that is out out of our outside norm. So like, mm -hmm. it takes a second at first, like when we saw the person with um that actually had the breast. The breast. It's like, oh, okay. But where for other people, maybe they didn't even get shocked by that, right? Absolutely. So we're all at different levels and all grow up in different cultures that push that stuff on you to yeah. accept things at a different um rhythm. So like, that's why it's so amazing to have all these um, support like you, Lena, from across the world, because then we're learning mm -hmm. how different places have different tolerances. Different cultures have their different tolerances. Yeah, and it's really enlightening. It is. Um, I actually, just to bring that up, because this is a German, and Lena, you're German and have the German roots. I'm watching a um, German TV show, actually. It's called um, The Empress, and it's about the Austrian yeah. Empire during right around World War One and everything that was going on there. And I love historical dramas. And something Big about time. Germany is they aren't afraid of history. Yeah, yeah. They aren't afraid of addressing history because I was watching this historical drama, and um, it is a drama. It is hollywoodized or or like cinematized in ways mm -hmm. because it still needs to be made for tv but i went and looked it up and um the german production company that's putting it together said actually we tr did make some changes 
but we didn't do anything to make it more dramatic than this already was. Mm -hmm. Like, this is still as close to history as we could do. Real life's dramatic while enough. <laughs> making it a historical drama because real life is dramatic enough. Yeah. There are things that have happened in the world that are difficult to address. And that's why the song is even saying, like, why can't we all just coexist and forgive and address these things that need to be addressed? Because we all can go on the roller coaster and together. We can all go on the roller coaster together. And I love how with German songs and media and everything that they do is they aren't afraid of addressing things correctly. Yes, I agree. Whereas in North American media, we are we're so afraid to offend we somebody. Hide it. So things get hidden. Yeah. Like there was a historical drama. Actually, it was a period drama. It's very different of um, uh, of Queen Charlotte that was done in America. Right. Which they completely, like, they race changed everything. They added things to make it a more 21st century versus a historical drama. So that yeah. even shows how cultures are different, like what you were bringing up. 100%. With how they address things. How we're doing our media is different. Yeah. Everything. Which is why I love, like, German music. I love mm -hmm. um, all these, like... Uh, music and tv shows and cinema that are coming from other countries because they're able to bring things in in such a way that you won't get here because culturally it's different yeah i think you and i would love to go to mm -hmm. germany and like experience their culture because it feels like we're that type of people a little bit you yeah. know we're gelling a lot with those so lena thank you so much for this for bringing and i don't want to screw it up die totenhosen back because i do remember the one before this i don't remember the name but like i remember the excitement mm -hmm. from it and i was so really happy excitement. that you brought this back and we got to go on a roller coaster ride with everyone from every walk of life so thank you guys for being here today if you had a good time let us know but we are exiting the rabbit hole now folks thank you so much lena for bringing die totenhosen down the rabbit hole this was a phenomenal song i love the way that they kept it all upbeat and happy yeah. while still having such like um still Still addressing real still addressing stuff. real stuff within the lyrics like this was a ton of fun can't wait to see the next die toten hosen to come down the rabbit hole peace and love everyone god bless y'all take care and bye for now don't, don't forget, forget to like comment and subscribe for more enter the chronicness Thank you all so much for making it all the way to the end of the video. If you had a good time and you are new to the channel and you don't want to miss the next one, here is a very easy way that you can make it to our next one by hitting the subscribe button. If you liked what you heard on this video and you want to support this artist, then an easy way to do that is going right here. And I think we have a really good video for you right here that we think you will enjoy. Thank you all so much. See you next time.